How's it going everybody? I'm back. Um, I've been doing some research for a good 5-6 hours now and uh, I'm very excited that I came across uh, different uh, avenues of uh, uh, exposing this uh, for-profit corporation called City of Glendale a municipality in the state of California not to be confused with the one in Arizona um, so I guess uh, let's just get to the point <laughs> City of Glendale budget message okay uh, it says as your city manager it is my pleasure to present the adopted budget for all operations of the city for fiscal year FY 2010 through 2011 which means it's this year and ends on January of the 1st of 2011 okay and then from there would be a 2011 to 2012 okay but anyway the direct impact of the declining economy over the last several years on city resources and the state's effort to address its fiscal budget crisis by taking resources from cities counties and special districts have combined to make these past few years some of the most difficult budget years in recent history the state was successful in its attempt to take away redevelopment funds from agencies across California which for Glendale now remember this is only for one year people amounted to a total of 11 million in fiscal year 2009 through 2010 with another 2.3 million targeted for fiscal year 2010 through 2011 however in spite of the difficulty involved in preparing this budget the managers the staff of the operating departments and the city council have approached the challenge in a professional and constructive manner always focused on how to best serve our diverse community carefully balancing the myriad of needs with limited resources now before I go forward and read on to the summary okay uh, I want you guys to see this real quick this is of course from the city of Glendale uh, and it shows right here <coughs> unemployment rates from uh, 2009 and also from 2008 but just to show the comparison how unemployment has gone up by a lot it says like most areas of the country Glendale has experienced an increase in its unemployment rate as illustrated below the rate increased to 11.1 percent in September 2009 compared to 7.2 percent in 2008 so you can see there that it's a lot higher okay the blue is the unemployment for September 2009 and the brownish gold is August 2009 okay so now remember that okay now we're gonna go to the summary now this is only for one year 2010 which is almost over to 2011 which is already around the corner so from 2010 January to 2011 January this is what they're talking about okay okay just keep that in mind because they're not talking about five or ten years it's just one simple year okay it says the total adopted budget for fiscal year 2010 through 2011 is 809 million and includes all city funds now see they got two sets of books that people don't know about one is what they show the public and two is this right here so if you know anybody that's uh, getting fired got laid off or you can't find jobs they're saying oh my god we're on a tight budget uh, bring this up at the council meeting okay <clears throat> it says includes all city funds departments and programs the budget represents a total of 1889 full-time salaried positions the total budget for the general fund is 173.1 million dollars this budget incorporates the policy direction of the City Council for services and programs to address the needs of the community as identified during the budget study sessions held between March and May of this year a public hearing on the budget was held on June 15 2010 and the budget was adopted on June 22 2010 as noted earlier this budget balances 
services and programs to address the many of needs of our dynamic community within the context of diminished resources. To say that the programs and service levels proposed in this budget, particularly the general fund, are only those that the city council and staff would like to be able to provide is not accurate. Okay. And let me keep reading. It says, Over the past several years, during these difficult times, we have had to make difficult decisions to reduce service and program levels in order to maintain a balanced budget. In other words, profit. Okay, now keep this in mind, and this is the city budget history. Okay, and as it says here, it's in the millions. City of Glendale, okay. Now look at the years. So in 2010, they were at about $801 million. And in 2011, which is already around the corner, they would have already made another $809 million. That's insane. And the general fund is at $173.1 million. But we're looking at the total budget. Now, uh, I'm going to be making more videos exposing this stuff, but this has nothing to do with um, any of their investments. It's, it's, it's really shocking. Just wait and see. So, City of Glendo, you wanted to play with me, you got my attention, and now I'm going to get your attention. So, keep this in mind here. Okay. Now, we're going to go on to over here. Now, this is where they start, you know, crunching the numbers. Shows how the home sales they were worth uh, in 2008 $668,000 and now they're at uh, 461000 in 2009. 2000 less, they were probably less. I don't know. It's not out yet. So, but anyways, um, it's going to go on to sit right here. Okay. Okay. Oh, this is this is insane. Now, it talks about cash management. Okay, there's long-term financial planning and stuff. But l let's look at the cash management. It says to obtain flexibility in cash management, the city employs a pooled cash system under the city's pooling system or concept. All available cash is invested daily in various securities while still maintaining reasonable liquidity to meet maturing obligations and maximizing return through the use of competitive rate comparisons from various investment sources. The following table presents a comparison of the results of the city's investments of pooled cash for fiscal year 2006, 2007, 2008, and 2009. Fiscal years end June 30th. Now, Look how much money the city has been making just on this right here alone. We're not counting the other stuff that we saw a minute ago. <clears throat> okay, people. Remember, go to the city council meeting and ask these questions right here. There's an average portfolio balance. 2009 was $444,787,000,000. 2008, it went up again. Same thing. 2007 they made another whopping 400 and whatever and 2006 this is exactly what they did 498 so as you can see they're not as broke as they say they are 
and that's the average portfolio balance let's look at their total portfolios interest income it's twelve billion four hundred sixty two million dollars and the average return on invested cash it's only two point eight not too bad the average return on invested cash decreased by 137 basis points from 4.17 in fiscal year 2008 to 2.80 in fiscal year 2009 the city treasurer is estimating next year's average return to be below 2% the city treasurer follows general investment strategies set forth in a formal statement of investment policy and presents monthly reports to the city manager and the city council so uh, yeah they're not as broke as they say they are but hopefully uh, I'm gonna show you guys how when I follow this little rabbit hole how deep it goes because it goes really deep and uh, I've barely scratched the surface I got a lot more in store but I need to learn how to uh, put it all together so you so you guys can understand it and uh, can uh, verify what I'm saying oh and uh, let me see what's this from okay where's the other one this one the budget message and all this other stuff where they were going look at look how much this total appropriation summary general fund base budget 150 this is all from 2009 and 2010 right here is what, what matters actually no what matters is going to be 2009 2010 and over here okay right here look at this how much money they're making this is in the billions every year every year okay and uh... so you guys can see that i'm not just making this up here there you go let me know what you guys think